Hey fellow book lovers, welcome back to the Pippa Lavert channel. My name is Jacqueline and for today's video I thought we would do something kind of fun. Probably two months ago or so I went to Barnes & Noble and I found this and it's the ultimate reading challenge and basically you open it up and there are different challenges and you can get like different prizes for accomplishing those different things. So I thought we could have a little bit of fun and do this today. Um, I haven't even looked through it. I literally just opened it up for the first time. Um, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so I went ahead and opened it up and there are a few that caught my eye that I think are perfect for this week. This one caught my eye, which is listen to a reading themed podcast. We have one called the Bibliovert Podcast, but we have also fallen absolutely in love with several other bookish podcasts out there and I love the idea of spending today getting to listen to some of their episodes. So if you are looking for bookish podcasts, definitely, definitely check out the Bookish Banter podcast. We have gotten to know both Kirsten and Tatiana and they are seriously some of the sweetest people in the entire world. They are doing a Hobbit themed readathon right now and it has been so much fun. So definitely go check out their episodes. There is also the Red Receipts, which I think they have the cutest concept and they're so much fun. They take a book, they pass it along to each other, and as they go, they each annotate the book, and then they do an episode on talking about their annotations for the book, which I just think is the cutest thing in the world. There's also Books to Last, Novel Bound Podcast, and if you're an aspiring writer, then definitely check out the Happy Writer Podcast, which is hosted by Marissa Meyer. She gives great tips on how to write and everything like that that you need to know for the writing process. Also, if you are a big Sarah J Mass fan, then definitely check check out A Court of Tattoos and Rosé. They do a deep dive into every single one of Sarah J Maas's books by doing it chapter by chapter and they are absolutely hilarious so definitely check them out as well. But back to the challenge, um, this is perfect because I do need to go to the bookstore today to get a couple of books that were released today. So I think I'm going to visit my local bookstore and ask a bookseller for their recommendation as well as grab some books and read them for books that have been published this year. So it looks like we have quite a few things that we can do to accomplish today and I can't wait to see what little treats we're gonna get. Okay, so we are back. I have listened to the Bookish Banter podcast episode on the invisible life of Addie LaRue. I am in the minority in that I did not like that book at all. <laughs> and it was so fun getting to listen to this episode because Kirsten didn't like it, but Tatiana did. So it was nice to not be completely in the minority this time. So let's go ahead and see what this little, little prize is. Oh, cute. <laughs> it's a pen that says the book was better. Okay, so I just realized that there was another one that definitely piqued my interest. And since I'm about to go to the bookstore, I think that this one is the perfect one to do for it. But it is go to your favorite section of the library or bookstore and blindly take a book off the shelf and take it home to read. I think that sounds like so much fun. So I think I'm gonna do this one read a book that was published this year. I'm gonna go grab a few from the bookstore and then also do visit your local bookstore and ask a bookseller for a recommendation. So, I think I'm gonna go do those. Let's go book shopping. Hello, I'm back. I got some books and I'm really excited about them. One of them I was not expecting at all. <laughs> But I think it's really funny, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's do a little book haul. I'll show you what I got, and then we'll open up the little prizes that we get with the challenge. So the first book, which is the one that I specifically went in to buy, and it is Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood, came out today. I am so excited. I can hardly see straight. The Love Hypothesis is like one of my comfort books. I reread it all the time. I love it so much. And Allie Hazelwood is truly one of the kindest human beings ever. We got to interview her over on the Bibliovert podcast. So if you want, you can go check out that episode. It is listed in the description box down below. Um, but needless to say, I'm starting this one immediately. And this will be our episode for next week. So I need to start it so that I can prepare for our episode. So this next one, was not a part of the challenge, but I saw it and I needed it, so I bought it. And it is My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. I received the ARC, um, but of the old covers. So when I saw the new one, I was like, I need it. 
I love this book so much. <laughs> I've read it multiple times. It's so great. It has me literally on the edge of my seat every single time. I just think it's absolutely hilarious. It is about an elementary school teacher who is a true crime podcast aficionado and she goes on vacation with her little brother and discovers a dead body. And so a bounty hunter is called in and she follows him around everywhere to help him solve the case. And it is so funny and so much fun. Highly recommend. Tessa Bailey is amazing and literally can do no wrong. Um, but yeah, I needed the new cover. I think it's beautiful. I personally like both of them a lot, um, but I think this new cover is extra beautiful. Okay, so this next one was for the challenge of go to the bookstore or library and ask an employee for a book recommendation. And y'all, I'm cracking up <laughs> because I've known about this book for a while now, but I've never read it. <laughs> and now I feel like I really need to. Um, so I asked Mallory for a book recommendation. They were absolutely amazing. Gave so many recommendations. We had so much fun talking about books. I had read a lot of the ones that she recommended until we got to Ice Planet Barbarians by Ruby Dixon. All I need to know, do I like need to make a video about reading this book slash series? Because I've heard so much, so much. And honestly, I've only heard good things. I've just never read it. I know that they're all on Kindle Unlimited. I also hear you start the first one and then you blink and three days later, you are on book 22 and you literally have done nothing but read for the last three days. Um, but like, do I need to do it? <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, my interest is peaked. My curiosity is there. Like, I feel like I can't not do it now, you know? Like, I have to. So anyway, maybe I'll make a video about it. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know what to think yet. But this was my employee recommendation and it came home with me. So this next one, I'm actually really, really excited about it. I have not read this author's other series. I have heard that it is a literal work of art um, and I need to, I don't even own them, but I need to buy them like immediately. But I saw this author on TikTok talk about this book that was coming out. It was released today and oh my gosh, it sounds so good. <laughs> And it is Babel by R.F. Kuang. I have not read the Poppy War trilogy, but again, hear that it is like one of the best and most well-written series that people have read in a long time. So already knowing how prolific this author is, seeing Babel just like had me in a chokehold. One, the cover's beautiful. Two, this book feels very like kind of dark academia, but twisting it on its head, especially because it, it talks a lot about deconstructing colonialism. This book takes place in 1828 in Oxford and it is about Robin who grew up in China, but he became orphaned and was taken to London by a professor where he grew up. And now it is about his days while at university. Secret society, intrigue, Everything's gonna be way too smart for me, but like, I'm gonna love it the whole time. Um, so anyway, I have been wanting to buy this book. I knew it came out today, so I was already really excited about it. And then I also thought that it would fit perfectly for reading an author whose ethnicity is different than mine. So needless to say, I cannot wait to read this book. <sighs> I think it's gonna have me in a chokehold. And then the last book that I got was for the go to your favorite section and choose a book blindly and take it home to read. And so I went to the YA fantasy section, my husband was there and I asked him to tell me when to stop. And it was on Forging Silver Into Stars by Bridget Kimmerer. I have read the A Curse So Dark and Lonely, like first two books of that trilogy. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't love them, but I have been really curious about this one. I think it's beautiful. I did double check to make sure that it was the first one in the series. Um, and it is, so that's good. This is about two best friends who grew up in a town where magic has since been forbidden. Um, neither one of them have had good experiences with magic. So when their queen all of a sudden marries someone who is a magic wielder, instantly they're very weary of the magic. So they join this group that is against magic and basically they trade in secrets and they're spying on the new king. But then someone new comes to town, he's trying to figure out who the rebels are and apparently he's very handsome. So 
sounds like loyalties will be tested and so on and so forth, but kind of sounds good. So I'm excited to read this one. I think it was a great pick for blindly picking a book off a shelf. And now to see what we got. So for Ice Planet Barbarians, we got... Oh, cute. It's like um, a coffee sleeve. That's kind of cute. And it has like books on it. Okay, for the blindly choosing a book off of the shelf to take home and read, we have a shh, I'm reading. That's cute, like little door handle thing. That's adorable. For reading the book that was published this year, I know I technically haven't read it yet, but for this video, we'll go ahead and open it up. Oh, cute. It's like little tabs that you can put in the book. And it says, brilliant thought here. And it says, noteworthy. So cute little tabs that you can include in your book. Adorable. Okay, and then for reading a book from an author whose ethnicity is different from your own. Oh, it's a little book plate and it says this book belongs to. That's really cute. So those are everything. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cute. And it's also a great way to challenge yourself if you're in a book slum to kind of do something different or even just get out and about and look for different books. So all of these I'm really excited about reading. I think it's um quite an eclectic range from Ice Planet Barbarians to Babel, <laughs> but we love all genres here. So anyway, I have had a lot of fun with this. I think the little trinkets are kind of cute. I don't know how many of them I would actually use, but I do really enjoy the like challenge aspect of this. Um, so yeah, I thought that was a lot of fun. But that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in learning more about us, you can check us out on Instagram at the Bibliovert Podcast. We also have a podcast called the Bibliovert Podcast where we have episodes that come out every single Monday. We do a lot of YA and NA fantasy as well as romance, and we're starting to do author interviews and it has been so much fun. We also have a Patreon that is filled with the most incredible book loving people ever so if you are looking for a bookish community we would love to have you come join our family we do a lot of behind the scenes content as well as a patreon exclusive episode every single month and we also do a book buddy read and we have a zoom date to talk about that book and it's just an absolute blast so we'd love to have you come join our family but that is it for this video we hope you enjoy it have a fantastic day happy reading and i'll see you next time Bye.